What's up guys? I'm gonna go straight into this video today because that's just how I wanna do it. Listen, today's topic is how we have been groomed our entire lives for narcissism. We have been groomed our entire lives to deal with narcissists. Let me tell you how, I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, the sayings that we grew up on. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. You know, you got to be forgiving. Forgive, forget. Religion has helped us aid and abed narcissism in some areas. Because you're just taught to forgive, forgive and forget. You know, you're, t you're taught that, you know, you should put up with ill behavior. Well, I, I'd like to start off today again just by saying that, you know, there have been so many things throughout your life that have aided and abetted the narcissist that you have dealt with, you know? And usually by the time you're old enough to figure all this stuff out, you know, all of the information leads right back to forgiving, you know, you are just like the narc, you know, self-love, the things that we have, the mechanisms that we have that defend us from narcissism. Actually, the narcissist thought about that as well. They put that in books. So when you start reading about narcissism, it's right there. Well, you know, that's grandiose to self, to love yourself, to be all, you know, into self. You know, you've been taught that that's not a good thing, that that's narcissistic. So it's it's trying to convince you that you are just like the narcissist. And we are not. You're not perfect. When you meet somebody. You know, and you guys are getting to know each other. Your narcissist is always going. One of the ways that a narcissist will pull you down and one of the ways they size you up is. You know, from the very beginning, they tell you, you know, where everybody makes mistakes, you know. Everybody makes mistakes. See, you don't even think about how devious that one statement is. Everybody makes mistakes. Don't you make mistakes? I've made mistakes. Haven't you? No. No. What is he talking about? He tripping now. No, guys, the things that I've done, I was well aware that I was doing it. It was not a mistake when I was doing it. OK, I knew what I was doing. Just like you did. So, no, everybody doesn't make mistakes. That's just what we call it. That's how we play it off. Nobody's perfect. That's something that most people start relationships with. Nobody's perfect. Really? When you hear somebody tell you that nobody's perfect in a relationship, run. Because they're telling you from the beginning I'm not perfect. You know, they're not going to tell you, oh, oh, I'm going to lie to you. I'm going to cheat on you. I'm going to steal from you. I'm going to gaslight you, manipulate you. No, they don't tell you like that. They tell you I'm not perfect. And then they back it up with nobody's perfect. You're not perfect, are you? Yeah, yes. Yes, I am. I don't care what they think. Yes, I am. 
Because I'm man enough to admit when I did something that I shouldn't have done. That's immature. But perfect, who's perfect? Again, guys, narcissism has been beating us up and grooming us from day one. It has been grooming us from the womb. And then once you start to grow up and then you start hearing different things and different things and they are, they're just catchphrases, catchphrases to catch your attention to mislead you so that you can be misled. See, if the information misleads you, then all a narc has to do is come along and continue to mislead you. Just soak that in. That's all. They're looking. See, guys, we thinking that we're smart and we're so intelligent and we're not even thinking on the level of a narc. We're not even thinking that these people know when they talk to you. How could they know that? Well, those are the triggers. Those are the signs. Nobody's perfect. <clears throat> Everybody makes mistakes. Guys, that's a surefire way to get into your life, to get into your head. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Really? Everybody makes mistakes. They get you every time. <clears throat> How many times have you mistakenly cheated? Hmm? I cheated. I was uh, I didn't know I was cheating. OK, when you say a mistake. Let's be clear what a mistake is. <laughs> I made a mistake. I, I, I got that woman pregnant over there. That was a, you made a mistake? How? You you had sex with her and impregnated her during that rendezvous. Sounds like you did a pretty good job to me. That wasn't a mistake. You meant to do that. And and, and you had to have the adrenaline flowing in your body. You had to be, have been feeling that situation to do it. Because to have sex with somebody, it requires something out of the man and the woman. It requires some level of excitement from both parties. Yes, it does. So, you know, to accidentally, to mistakenly, no, no. But because those are the words, those are the catchphrases that Narcs have programmed us with all of our lives. We believe that, oh, wow, you know, nobody is perfect. Nobody, everybody does make mistakes. I've never mistakenly destroyed my family. I've never mistakenly cheated. I've never mistakenly lied. See, a lie is knowing you're not when you know the truth and you tell something different. That's a lie. A mistake is when you say something that's not true. But you didn't know. You had no clue. You know, it's three o'clock. OK, well, no, it's actually. 417. Oh, I didn't know. That's a mistake. Know the difference, guys. Know the difference, because that is how narcs invade your life. When you're dating somebody new. And they're running all that game to you about how nobody's perfect and this and that, you should let them know that you're not interested. When they let you know that they're, they're not perfect and that they make mistakes, that's your exit. 
Because if you stay after they have admitted that they are not perfect and that they make mistakes, you're staying for a clown show. You're staying for the circus. And the clown is going to act a fool. And you know how the clowns act. You know what they do. They gaslight. They scheme. They manipulate. They lie. They steal. They cheat. They do all of the above. Stand your ground. Stand your ground, people. It's all about education here. It's all about us pulling these, you know, pulling these layers back. It's all about going deeper into this information. We're going to continue to unlock every door of this devil's house. We're going to unlock every door. Until all of us are free. Remember, guys, that devil is manipulating us based on things that they were using against us from the day one. They were using these tools against us day one. And now they can't continue to do it anymore. You have narcs literally going crazy out here right now. They don't know how they're going to trick their next supply. Narcs now are going to therapy. Yeah. All of them. What therapist you think I should go to? Since when did you have to start going to somebody and talk to them to convince you to stop being a devil? I don't like lying to people. I don't like stealing from people. I don't like cheating on people. I don't like gaslighting people no more. What happened? Well, all at once? <laughs> Truth of the matter is, people, is that they never needed anybody to tell them that. They knew the whole time. They knew what they were doing. Now we do too. Listen, guys, I want you to like, share, subscribe, watch. <clears throat> hit that notifications button and it will let you know every time I upload a video I go live several days a week I have a Facebook group called Narcissist Anonymous 101 The Empath Tribe go to my website Hario Over The Top International dot com Hario Over The Top International dot com it'll give you all kinds of inf information about narcissism it will keep you updated about upcoming events, um, different retreats, and yes, <laughs> even in COVID, yes, we're going out of the country. So, uh, again, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the video, watch the video. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video. I want most of all, comment on the video. See you on the next one, guys. Thank you.